Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding two brackets with simple coefficients. So we want to expand these expressions here where we have two brackets in each case. Now let's remind ourselves how we expand a single bracket. If I had say uh, two brackets x plus 3, Remember that I do this thing on front of the bracket multiplied by each of the things inside the bracket. So I do the 2 on the front of this bracket times the first thing in the bracket, 2 times x is 2x. And I do this 2 times the second thing in the bracket, 2 times 3 is 6. Now when you have two brackets like this, it's a bit more complicated. So if I write that out... Basically the strategy is this. We multiply each thing in the first bracket, or each term in the first bracket, by each term in the second. And that is the one point you need to know for this video. So, we're going to multiply each thing in this first bracket by each thing in the second bracket. So we can do the first thing in the first bracket, multiplied by the first thing in the second bracket. We'll think of all the different combinations. So let's do that. x times x is just x squared. We could also do the first thing in the first bracket multiplied by the second thing in the second bracket. x times 3 is just 3x. Don't forget to put the plus on front of it. And then, well, we've done the first thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket. Now we could do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket. So we're going to have 2 times the x, which is 2x. And we've got that 2 times the 3 which is 6. Now the order doesn't really matter in terms of these four terms, but I tend to do the first thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket, and then I do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second bracket, and that way you're not going to accidentally miss out any terms. And now we can just collect like terms. We've got an x squared term here. Well, there's no other x squared terms, so that just stays as x squared. We've got a 3x here. Oh, we do have another x term. We've got 3x plus 2x. They can be collected together to get 5x, because 3 lots of x plus 2 lots of x is 5 lots of x. And then we've got this constant term, which means we don't have an x, so that's just 6. What about this second one? We've got y plus 2 multiplied by y minus 5. Again, we do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second bracket. So we first look at this y in the first bracket and we times it by each of the things in the second bracket. So we could do the y times the y and the y times the minus 5. y times y is y squared and y times minus 5 is minus 5y. And then we do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. So we've got the 2 times the y which is 2y and we've got the 2 times the minus 5 positive times negative is negative. And again, these two terms collect here, these y terms, minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. So we've got minus 3 lots of y. So it's y squared minus 3y minus 10. And we are done. Now finally, with p plus 3 squared, a, a common student misconception is to think that we just do the p squared and we do the 3 squared. So it's p squared plus 9. But it doesn't work like that. We need to write out this bracket twice because anything squared just means this thing multiplied by itself. If I had 2 squared, it means 2 times 2. If I had 3 squared, it means 3 times 3. So if I had p plus 3 squared, it means p plus 3 times p plus 3. So let's do that p plus 3 multiplied by itself and we do the usual thing. So we do the first thing in this first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. p times p is p squared, p times 3 is 3p and then we do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. So we've got 3 times p plus 3p and we've got 3 times 3 which is 9 and that gives us p squared plus, well, 3 lots of p plus 3 lots of p is 6p. And we've got that plus 9. And so it's that 6p term that students tend to forget if they end up just doing p squared plus 3 squared. Because they'll get the p squared plus 9, but they'll forget that extra term in the middle.